This is a catastrophe waiting to happen. When you got two lanes of travel in one direction and you're on the inside lane, don't stop to let traffic coming at you turn left because the inside lane, they don't have to stop. And the car you're letting them turn left, but during the time we'll think, oh, it's good to go and just shoot on across there. And then the person on the inside lane will impact the car making the left-hand turn, and the car making the left-hand turn is at fault. I am supposed to be a quality in here. And it's supposed to have street parking, so if we can get checked in and got time we'll get a bite to eat and get started on that history video got a pause writing my information for my video I'm about to do so I can eat half rack of ribs chicken fries and salad I'm about to chow down. And then we'll get on with the video. And welcome back, Procurator Trucker. Uh, yeah, I ate and it was good. Uh, knock this video out before I uh, take a shower. I'm actually going to break this. Excuse me. I'm actually going to break this down into two videos. I've got quite a bit of information on it. The last video was on the Continental Congress, the second Continental Congress, um, which took place after uh, just about the same time frame uh, the British fired on uh, colonial citizens. Uh, basically kicking off the physical conflict and the colonists deciding that it's time to separate from England. Well when they made the uh, decision to separate from England of course they are going to have to come up with an actual army who's going to lead that army and what a better time to get to know our first president, George Washington. So, uh, this video is going to be titled George Washington. Um, first commander in chief. Or, George Washington named commander in chief. And got quite a bit of information on it, but don't want to spend don't want to spend it here all night doing videos so I'm going to break it down into two videos um, George Washington is the best remembered as the first president of the United States but there might not ever have been a United States had Washington not so aptly performed in the role for which he seemed to have been born commander-in-chief of the Continental Army his experience in the French and Indian War were invaluable to the teach to teaching him the subtleties of warfare on the American continent. Serving the British Crown in their war against the French in the 1750s, which the French and Indian War, also known as the Seven Year War, which it's not called, it's not referred to, but was technically the First World War. Uh, it was a war that was fought around the globe. Would prepare him for the conflict that emerged two decades later. Fighting for independence from the crown he once served. An alliance with the French he once fought against. Washington was a member of the House of Burgesses from 1758 until 1775. 
speaking before a meeting of that body soon after the Boston Tea Party after the British closed the port of Boston, Washington asserted, I will raise 1,000 men Where in the heck did I get that word at? Um, huh? Subsist them at my own expense and mark myself at their head to the relief of Boston. On April 18, 1775, Major Picarian, P-I-T-C-A-I-R-N, of the British Army fired upon the American militia assembled on the Lexington Common. It was the shot heard around the world. The American Revolution was underway. Militia groups from throughout the, colon the colonies made their way to Boston. One of the first steps of the new Continental Congress was to organize the army gathered about Boston, calling it the Continental Army. John Adams of Massachusetts nominated Washington, then a colonel in the Virginia, Virginia militia, to serve as commander-in-chief of the army. Um, got a lot more on this yet. I'm going to end this part here. Um, so... After the set, Second Continental Congress, uh, the British major fired on colonial citizens. The colonists have basically decided, we're done with Britain. Uh, we're going to be independent even if we have to fight for it, which takes place. And one of the first things they got to do is find somebody, they got to get an army which there had been militias so they're taking the militias organizing them making a solid army out of them and they got to find somebody to lead and it is recommended that George Washington is made commander-in-chief and of course it's going to step up from there so I will end this video here my next video is I will do some more on George Washington and uh, see what happens. Uh, appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next video.